Hello guys, you join me on a very chilly day here in uh, Boston, and we are going to be test driving a Model S. Hey guys, so we're just starting our test drive of the Model S Long Range with a yoke. Uh, we're going to go on their little test route and everything. Um, it's definitely very, very weird having a yoke. instead of a normal steering wheel. Um, but yeah, the screen itself is definitely a lot larger than the one that's in our Model Y. Um, it's got the dual wireless chargers here in the front. Um, we'll be popping outside here in a minute. But the God, this yoke is so weird to drive with. Definitely feels a bit more responsive than our car is. All right, exit, boom. Let's scan their card and for the garage and get out and get out of here. Wow, you do not have to get close at all to do that. All right, I'm already getting a hang of it. I think. We're going to go We're going to go left. And then here we've got to go right. Let's get over. All right, let's restart this trip so that we can hopefully get it to give us directions. Work. All right, in 0 0.1 miles, we're going to take a right on uh, Clarendon Street. All right. This is definitely a large sedan. I'm definitely a lot lower to the ground than I would be in the Model Y. Oh, I haven't even, I've completely forgotten that it even has the screen directly in front of my face. Uh, interesting to see, so it can see all the people. Um, you can also see the navigation there. That is significantly better than looking over here. Wow, I didn't know I was missing that in our Model Y, but clearly I was. Pedals and steering, let's see. Yeah, this thing rips. Definitely a lot more powerful than the um, Model Y. And I really like the air suspension. Wow. I didn't expect... Oh, hey, there's an F-150 Lightning back there. I didn't know how I'd feel about the air suspension, but it's definitely really, really nice. We're going to take a right here. So using more of the middle of the bottom, get this to turn in and then use the middle of the yoke on the bottom uh, is what I seem to be doing. So I need to go on 90 West. I can do that. Um, heated yoke, definitely. Uh, we've got autopilot, uh, just basic autopilot. Obviously, we've got the screen which can turn, so if I, I can rotate the display here in the front center, 
Um, there goes that F-150 Lightning. Man, the perks of being in Boston, you just see EVs everywhere. Okay, and we're going on 90 West. Whew, yeah, this thing is fast. Let's merge on, and then we gotta take exit 131. Yeah, this thing is significantly faster than our Model Y. Wow. And this isn't even the fast one. This is the long range, not the plaid. Uh, specs on this one, I believe, I forget which wheels this has. Um, we can check. It looks like it's got the, I think it's the 20s. Um... It's got the, I think, yeah, I believe this has the 20 inch wheels on it, uh, in which case the 20s themselves get you 396 miles of range, I believe, in the long range model S. Uh, you get 670 horsepower, which is significantly more than the 450 or so you get in the uh, Model Y's, the long range Model Y without acceleration boost gets about, it gets significantly less than that, that's about 380, and then you, if you pay for acceleration boost you're up to like 430, and then the performance is like 450, 460. Um, yeah, so we definitely have autopilot. And the guy was wrong. You do double tap on the uh, on this knob here for it, just like I expected. Um, nope, no enhanced autopilot. Okay. But, yeah, I really like the way this rides. It's uh, really good with the air suspension. It's obviously, it's adaptive air suspension um, based on how bumpy the ride is. And we're going to hop out, take a look at the exterior and everything. So it's raising suspension right now based on our location. So it knows that the roads are crappy right here, and it automatically started raising our suspension. That's cool. I like that. Um, the glass roof is definitely a bit more tinted than in the Model Y. Um, I'm not going to be able to give you a genuine thought on the audio or anything. But it's so weird having it auto do whether park or not. Um, I'm definitely very quickly getting used to the idea of the buttons here. And yes, this is stupid if you're trying to do a lot of, if you drive a ton or, and are trying to like turn a lot. But like you can just manipulate the yoke pretty simply. It's actually not that bad. Definitely a lot better than I thought it would be. Let's check energy consumption. Yeah, obviously I used... I, I used more energy than uh, they expected me to. Especially than rated range. But other than that, I mean, this is... This car's nice, uh, and it better be for the cost. I mean, the, the materials in here are all really nice. The fit and finish actually seems pretty great. We just got to see what I think of the exterior here in the minute. I know we've all seen Model S's and everything. I just i have never paid too close of attention, uh, not going to lie. We're actually, like, literally right across the street from, uh, or right across the, the Charles. 
from where Micro Center is. Which I find really funny. So we're going to go right in here. I don't want to be over here. I don't know. This is just where it brought me. Okay, yeah. I had to use the screen. Okay. So let's come park over here and we'll take a look at it. Because this is where it was sending me to park. We'll see if there... I don't think there is anywhere to park. Okay. So we'll go right back to where we just were. Hey, look! Green light. Imagine. We'll go right back to exactly where we just were, just park the car, hop out, take a look at it. Um, I don't necessarily love the white, I'm not going to lie. Also, these <laughs> really tiny <laughs> sun visors, they make sense. It's not, a, it's, not a, um, it's not an SUV or anything. Driving dynamic-wise, though, this is perfectly fine. In fact, it's it's pretty excellent, and I'm not even... I know I'm mentioning the yoke a lot, but I'm not actually thinking about it. Like, there's no... I'm not actively thinking about what I'm doing when I'm using the yoke. So, let's just park, like, right here. All right. And we'll hop out and take a look at the car. It is definitely a pretty decent looking car. Um, I believe these are the 20s, but I'm not 100% sure. I want to take a look at how big the frunk is, but we'll be able to do that inside because we're going to actually go take a look at their uh, showroom and everything. Um, now let's take a look at the... Wow, this actually has a quite a lot of trunk space. I mean, let's lift this up and it just keeps going. Good job. Obviously, auto trunk, uh, auto power trunk. You've got the handles that pop in and out for you. And, yeah, it's just, it's your, it's a Tesla. It just works. And in addition to it just working, the biggest other thing is just that it's, it's very simple to use. It's got the really good navigation. Um, I am curious to see if I were to go to Orlando... how far or how many stops it think it would think we would have to do since that's a trip we'll be doing here shortly one two three four five six seven wow that is not bad not bad at all actually yeah and mostly 20 to 25 minute stops Alright, let's start driving back. I'll have you guys ride along for that as well. And then we'll go from there. Alright, you guys should still be able to see everything. We're going to get the mic put back on. I'm going to get seat belted again, and then let's hit the road. And let's see. Nobody coming. That's on aggressive. That's not on the top one. Yeah, that was uh, not even on the fast mode on insane. That was on sport. Yeah, insane is what it calls itself. It's absolutely nuts. Um, I was instructed not to use drag strip mode, so I'm not going to. 
but yes, we want to apply brakes when regen's limited. That makes sense to me. Oh, one instead of two. Interesting. We're going to exit a Kenmore Square here in a minute, and then we're going to stop right in front. And we'll go back inside. We'll take a look at the Model X as well, briefly. Uh, I just want to see the comparison between the two, mostly. Um, I will say, initially, I was not a big fan of Autopilot, because I was gripping the... Um, I was... Like, I was doing like that. Oh, it doesn't like me. I accidentally did too many things, and now it's put me in autopilot jail. Oh, no, it's good now. Um, but yeah, I was shaking it too violently. I was shaking the wheel too violently instead of just having my hands rest there. I would have them basically perfectly still and then shake them. And it does not like when you shake them, unlike the GV60, which is, that's how I alert the car. Hey, I'm still here. I'm still paying attention. Don't worry about me. I, I got you. I'm here. I'm driving. So. Um, other than that, I mean, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that the, the best sedans right now are the Model 3 and the Model S? Do you think that the BMW i4 has some, uh, should have some space in the conversation, or even the Lucid Air on the on the higher end? I mean, the Lucid's significantly more money than this. Let's let's be real. This is this aspect is probably somewhere around ninety-five ish grand. I actually don't know off the top of my head. I went and reached for a um, stock that isn't here. Still kind of dumb that doesn't have stocks. And that I have to interact with the screen. But I'm definitely getting used to it. Um, yep, you've got the heated or not heated. You've got three different levels of heated seat. You can set AC to that or to auto. Which I'm going to put it at auto. What is this? Is this the biohazard mode? It is. Alright, we're going to turn here. And then we're going to hop in this lane. I'm in the wrong lane. Oh, well, I just got to get over a lane, it looks like, I think. Um, I mean, I've, I've actually really quite liked driving this. Admittedly, yes, it's significantly more money than anything else I've driven. So I don't know why it wouldn't wow me. But it is nice. Even chill is fast. Um, so this car, as spec, is capable of 0 to 60 in like 3.1, something like that. Which is just absolutely too much. I, nobody needs a car this fast. Let me, let me be clear. Unless you are taking this car to a track, you are 0 to jail in about 4 seconds. Even less than that if you're on city streets such as I am right now. Curb it, don't curb it. I'm gonna back in a little closer. 
and we're gonna go inside. That was nice. I quite liked that. And here now in the showroom and everything, we're gonna take a look at this. That's still nutty to me that that's how it unlocks. And you hop in, this one's got the cream interior, but it's a plaid as you can tell by the carbon fiber. I didn't even remember, I didn't even, I couldn't even remember the fact that you actually get steam on the S and the X. Um, cream interior isn't what I'd go for, I'd probably go for the black, which we just took a look at and everything. Um, but let's really quick, let's take a look at the frunk. I just gotta pop the, I gotta pop it, so let's go over here, frunk open. I feel like the S and X should have a power frunk. Okay, not bad. You definitely get a decent amount of room. You can fit a backpack, as I'll demonstrate. Let me hop around the other side. Let's shut the door. Hop around the other side and grab our backpack. Yeah, you can fit a backpack or maybe a, maybe a golf bag in there. Interesting. Next up, we're going to take a look at the Model X. All right, those tires look expensive to replace. 285, 35, 22s. And 265, 35, 22s in this Model X six-seater. So you've got the captains in the middle. And you do have a screen right there. Then in the back here, you have cup holders in the middle, which is interesting. Um, not a ton of headroom. Not a ton of headroom. I mean, if I sit up perfectly straight, my head's basically coming in contact with it. So anyone over like 5'7 couldn't fit in the back here. Um, if that. I mean, that's how tall I am, but I'm mostly legs. So it just depends on how tall your torso is. Definitely weird, though, seeing these going doors on the Model X. So if I go... I'm going to have to get the car to turn the screen on. So let's hop. Oh, I forgot it has auto doors. And then you still have that giant screen in the middle here on this one. You've got the yoke again. This is again a plaid. It looks like... Um, yeah, this is a massive screen. Yeah, you can still make them fart and everything. I do not want Mariah Carey to play. Please and thank you. These doors are nuts on this car. Uh, they look very, very expensive to repair. I do like these center captain's chairs um, with the white interior and everything. Seems, seems pretty nice. Um, yeah, so it's in showroom mode, so it's not gonna let me open anything or close anything, unfortunately but it does seem like a pretty nice car.